Hi Sagittarius, this is your mid-month March 2022 reading. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for March 2022. In love, Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for mid-month. March 2022 in love universal energies show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for mid-month March 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so sagittarius sag this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys's minds maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys's minds or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way thinking this way or wanting to take this action this is the mutual point of interest between you sag this is you this is your partner So, Sag, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For mid-month, March 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Sag, is the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Sag, listen, very well could be a shocking surprise here. Could be a shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with you, Sag, Aries, or Leo, the Queen of Wands. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Sag, yes, this can be you, but someone could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So, yes, this can be you, Sag, or someone is wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you or your partner passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so sad. Someone could be passing their own final verdict and judgment here. Yes, someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment. A Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify judgment for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify judgment for Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Sag, listen, it very well could be a shocking surprise that someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance, wanting to reunite here. However, Sag, it can be a shocking revelation here 
that something from the past was brought back up here. Could also be that someone from your past or your partner's past is in the picture. Could also be that children are now involved here. And someone is calling judgment here. We'll see. Sag, you have the Eight of Cups. You have the Six of Wands. You have Justice. Your partner has the Ten of Wands. Your partner has the High Priestess. And your partner has strength. So, Sag, listen. The mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is it very well could be a shocking surprise here that someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance wanting to reunite. But it could also be a shocking revelation that, you know, something from the past has been brought back up here. It could be that someone from your past or your partner's past is in the picture. Or this may involve children and someone may be calling judgment here. We'll see. Sad, you have the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me you're walking away, detaching emotionally here, yes? But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So, Sag, yes, there could be a walking away, but it could also be a returning. Clarify the Eight of Cups. For Sagittarius. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Sag could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that, you know, you thought about it, you're using your intuition, searching your emotions. Maybe you're wanting to walk away, detach emotionally and go on a break with this person. However, Sag, you could have been on a break with this person and now you're meditating here, searching your emotions and using your intuition on whether or not you want to return or allow them to return. Sag, you have the Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Sag, listen, <clears throat> you can tell me that, you know, this partner is getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. Someone could be making an announcement here. However, you can tell me that something was brought to your attention or you began to recognize something. Clarify the Six of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Six of Wands. For Sagittarius, clarify the Six of Wands. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Sag, listen, you know, very well could be that you guys are getting each other's attention. Mm -hmm, because you have the soulmate energy here. Maybe someone is wanting to come back in the picture here. However, Sag, you can tell me something was brought to your attention concerning some type of connection here. And I hope someone from your partner's past is not in the picture. Sag, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. 
So Sag could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone is wanting to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation, or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Sagittarius. Clarify justice for Sagittarius. Clarify justice for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Sag, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment here. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Sag could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, you know, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the hermit. For Sagittarius, clarify the hermit. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Sag, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that, hey, I'm in the dark concerning something here. You can tell me that you're using your intuition here. Or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely here or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. For Sagittarius, clarify the world. <clears throat> for Sagittarius, clarify the world. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Sag could be dealing with an Aquarius. You know, you can tell me that, hey, I'm getting my wish, following my destiny. You can tell me that you're needing to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile here. So Sag. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out, may even be coming in with a romantic gesture here, Sag. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, 
courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Sag, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that, hey, I'm feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or you're trying to muster the strength and courage to do something here. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regrets, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Sag, listen, this is a two-way street here. Because you can tell me that you're hurting your mourning. You can tell me that something wasn't fair, something wasn't balanced, something wasn't just. Could also be something going on in the justice system concerning commitment here. You can tell me that you're doing a lot of heavy duty soul searching. You may have also gone on a solo search and discovered something that caused you to want to close out the cycle and heal individually on your own. And even though they may be coming in to apologize, you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, holding yourself back because you're hurt here, Sag. You're just feeling like, hey, maybe I just need to walk away and just put this on ice. However, Sag, you can tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played and you're trying to muster the strength and courage to come in to do something something to apologize offer you a cup of love because you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things mend things work things out you can come back around again some type of return here some type of reuniting here sag you just don't know if you should you're doing some heavy duty soul searching concerning it and maybe even to restore or even go into commitment is on the table here so it all depends on whether you're feeling remorse to regret or you're just hurt by the situation at whole, okay, at large, okay? So, Sag, listen, I feel like it could be a shocking surprise here that someone is taking action to ask for forgiveness and a second chance. Here it is, okay? Wanting to reunite here, okay? But, Sag, you know, I, I, I can't say anything else concerning this because I don't see it here. We'll see what your partner has to say. Sag, your partner has the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, something is difficult, something is heavy, something feels like a lot of work, something feels like the weight of the world on your partner's shoulders, something is a burden here for your partner. This is a 10, so this is an ending. This is your partner wanting to release a burden. So Sag, listen, your partner's saying something is difficult, it's heavy, and they're wanting to release it. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius' partner. The Magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. So Sag could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So, Sag, listen, you know, your partner could tell me that there was some type of lying, cheating, deceptive this year, and they're trying to manifest releasing this burden. Mm-hmm. Or Sag, your partner is so burdened by something, they're trying to manifest maybe sneaking off here. What? Sag, your partner has the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. 
she who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition, but they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. So, Sag, listen, your partner can tell me, yes, you're not speaking to one another. Your partner can tell me that they're using their intuition or they have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Sag, listen, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. So Sag could be dealing with a Leo. Listen, your partner could tell me that they're happy, yeah? Or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the sun for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the sun for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This could be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. <clears throat> so, Sag, listen, your partner could tell me that, you know, the reason why you guys aren't speaking, you know, is something came to light about juggling here, okay? Now, your partner could tell me that, listen, they feel like, you were the one juggling or this is their secret here, Sag. And it came to light that they were juggling, that this is their deception here. Sag, your partner has strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lusts, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves, and hold themselves back from something. So Sag could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves, and holding themselves back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify strength for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify strength for Sagittarius' partner. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Sag, listen. Your partner could tell me that they're mustering the strength and courage to have this conversation, this communication. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves from this communication here. They just want to drop it and leave. Sag, your partner could tell me that they've come into some truth and clarity and it's making them feel extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're mustering the strength and courage to come in with some truth and clarity to make a decision or to use the sword to sever. So Sag, you know, your partner could be contemplating their happiness, should I, should not, using their intuition, needing to make a decision here. I feel like there's an apology coming in. It very well could be from them, Sag, and maybe they want to get something off their chest here. They want to release this burden, okay? But it could also be you feeling remorse and regret, and you're coming in to apologize. So let me ask, did you recognize something concerning the soulmate of yours? Did you recognize some type of connection that they had with someone else, some type of juggling here? 
or Sag, are you getting attention or was it recognized that you have some type of connection with someone and you had to walk away and break up, but then maybe you're feeling remorse and regret trying to restore a situation here. Sag, listen, I feel like it has been a shocking revelation, Sag. I feel like, yes, you're involved here. I feel like, listen, you know, someone could be calling judgment here or even asking for forgiveness and a second chance about reuniting here or calling judgment on something that happened in the past or someone from the past being in the picture with some type of deception here. Sag, this is your mid-month, March 2022 reading. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.